let's suppose we're interested in seeing the relationship between the political party of a governor and the political party of the senators that are elected. And there, every state has a governor and every state has two senators. So the senators might be both Republican or they might both be Democratic or it might be a mixed combination of Republican and Democratic or another party as well. Um, independent party is has has a few senators right now in Congress. So here's some information that I was able to gather and let's see if we can put this information into a contingency table. Notice that I've got the political parties of the governors here as my row headers and as my column headers I have senators both being Republican, both Democratic or a mixed combination thereof. So in 2023, 26 states had Republican governors. So in the Republican governors, we know that there were a total of 26 that were Republican. Four states with Republican governors had two Democratic senators. So with Republican governors, four states were both Democratic. And four states had a mix of political parties in the Senate. Four states with Democratic governors had two Republican senators. So Democratic governors, both Republican. There were four there. And three states had a mix of political parties in the Senate. Now, believe it or not, with this information here, we really can actually calculate and fill in this entire table. Let's talk about how that can happen. To start out with, notice that we have a total of 26 states that have a Republican governor. There's 50 states in the US, so our grand total number of states down here is going to be 50. With 26 Republican governors, that leaves 24 Democratic governors currently in office. All right. Now we can fill in the rest of the information here. For mixed, I know that there were four mixed senators with a Republican governor and three mixed senators with a Democratic governor for a total of seven. So I can add that total. What else can I do? Well, as long as I only have one value missing, I should be able to figure it out. So with the Republican governor, there were 26 of those. I've already got eight of those accounted for. So if I do 26 minus 4 is 22, minus another 4 is 18. There were 18 Republican governors that had two Republican senators elected. So 18 plus 4 plus 4 is 26. Just do a quick double check. Now that I know how many um, senators were both Republican, I have 18 plus 4 is a total of 22 um, that had senators that were both Republican. Again, I can find any missing piece as long as, or any missing row or column, as long as there's only one piece of information missing. So here I have 24, but I have three senator, mixed senators and four both Republican senators. So if I do 24 minus three is 21, minus four is 17, and I end up with 17 in this category here. And then I can get my total by doing four plus 17 gives me a total of 21. So I can fill in spaces based on making those totals all work out. It's always a good idea when you're done, make sure that if you add down each section here and here that you end up with 50, 26 plus 24 is 50, 22 plus 21 is 43 plus seven is 50. So I did okay there in terms of breaking all of this up. So this is a way that you can kind of take information that you're given and use that information to fill in a contingency table. All right, well, once we have this type of information here, we can go ahead and keep, figure out a series of probabilities. So let's try that. What is the probability that a state has a 
Democratic governor. In this case, I'm looking at all of the states. There's no limitation on anything here. I'm just looking for the probability that a state has a Democratic governor. There's a total, so I'm going to be using the grand total as my bottom number. Grand total is 50, and the number of states that have a Democratic governor, Democratic governors here, there's a total of 24 that have a Democratic governor. So 24 out of 50, and I can divide that to get my probability, and I can get as a percentage, and I get 0.48 for 48%. Let's look at this. What is the probability that a state with a Democratic governor will have two Democratic senators. In this case, I have a condition that's applied. What is the probability that a state with a Democratic governor, we're given that we're only interested in looking at states with Democratic governors, so this time 24 is going to be my bottom number. What's the probability that this state will have two Democratic senators? Well, now I'm looking only at the Democratic governor row. There's 24 of those, and both Democratic, there's 17 of those. So I can do 17 over 24 to calculate my probability in this instance. If I do 17 divided by 24, I get 0 0.7083 or 70.8%. What is the probability that a state has a mixed Senate political party. Again, what is the probability that a state, so are looking at all of our states, so 50 is the bottom of our probability. What is the probability that a state has a mixed Senate political party? In this case, I have four with the Republican governor, three with the Democratic governor, or a total of seven out of the 50 states. Where I have a mix of political parties in the Senate. Now let's try kind of an interesting one here. What is the probability that the governor and the Senate have the same political party. All right, well, in this case, we're looking at all 50 states again. We're just looking for what is the probability and then the specific that we're looking for here is the, the governor and the Senate have the same political party. Well, let's go back and look up here. Here we have Republican governors with Republican senators. There's 18 of those. We have Democratic governors with Democratic senators here. So we have 18 Republican groupings and we have 17 Democratic groupings. 
18 plus 17 gives us 35 out of 50, which means there's a 70% chance that the Senate and the governor will have the same political party as we're looking through. So again, as you read through, check carefully to see what it is that we're looking for. What is the probability that the governor is Republican or the senators are both Republican? Okay, in this case, we're looking for the probability that the governor is Republican or the senators are both Republican. So here, the word or means that we're going to need to look at a combination um, of possibilities. The governor could be Republican or the senators can both be Republican. So let's go up here and look. Um, and again, the word or means that one or the other or both conditions can apply. The first condition there is, what is the probability that the governor is Republican? Well, the governor Republican uses all 26 of the people from that row. The, Sen the probability that the senators are both Republican is going to come from this column. We have the 18 people again here, but we don't want to double count them. But we're also going to include these four people here where the senators were both Republican. So either the governor was Republican or both senators were Republican. And I can add all of these different pieces in for my or, because it could be one or the other or both. So again, here we were looking for a probability out of all 50 states. There were 18 Republican governor with both Republican, four Republican governor with both Democratic, four mixed Republican, or for Republican governor with mixed Senate. And then there were four that were a Democratic governor, but had both Senates, senators being Republican. If I add all of these together, I end up with 30 out of 50 or a 60% chance that either the governor or both of the senators were Republican. So again, pay attention as we're going through the key things that you wanna watch for, check out and be careful of the words like or or and that show up. Be careful if there's a limitation to a specific group. If that's the case, it changes the bottom number of my probability. Otherwise, we're going to use that grand total, which is that bottom left number from the contingency table.